It's Saturday, January 6th, real quick before I got to head out the door and go to work. An Alaska Airlines brand new 737 MAX delivered in October lost a decommissioned emergency exit door last night while departing Portland, Oregon's airport on a flight headed to Ontario, California. Here on Simon Radecki's Aviation Herald, the Alaska Airlines 737-9 MAX uh, for Alpha Lima as performing flight is Alaska 1282 from Portland, Ontario with 171 passengers and six crew was climbing out of Portland's runway 28 left when one of the cabin windows slash emergency exits and its holding panel as well as parts of the one unoccupied seat on row 26 separated from the aircraft. The passenger oxygen masks were released. Rem remember, the rubber jungle is automatically deployed, the oxygen masks when the cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet. This happened on climb out. They were just on the downwind from Portland as the aircraft was climbing through 16,300 feet. The crew donned their oxygen masks, of course, because the entire aircraft is depressurized, stopped the climb at about 16,000 feet, declared an emergency reporting depressurization of the aircraft in a very noisy transmission. They initiated an emergency descent to 10,000 feet and returned to Portland for a safe landing on runway 28 left about 20 minutes after departure. We'll look at the um, flight track. They didn't have to do a big Hayaka uh, emergency descent nose diving profile because they were just at 16,000 feet. All they had to do was just descend on down to 10,000 feet. No injuries are being reported. An emergency exit and hold panel and a hold panel at the left side of the aircraft was missing. The flight continued on on a different aircraft six and a half hours later. NTSB is investigating. Passengers reported a boy sitting in row 26 had his t-shirt sucked off him while his mother was holding on to him to prevent him from being sucked out. Several phones were sucked out as well. Remember, this is a deactivated emergency exit. This emergency exit is not in service at, Amer at Alaska Airlines because the aircraft is not configured to require this exit. Let me show you the card here. Stand by. Here's the emergency exit card for uh, Alaska Airlines uh, 737 MAX. It shows one, two, three, four emergency exits and then the four smaller over wing exit. This exit is located behind the wing and is designed to be put into use once the passenger configuration exceeds a certain number. And I believe it's over 200 passengers. If you really cram the passengers in there, if you really reconfigure the aircraft, then they will make this uh, emergency exit an active part of the emergency exit system. Meanwhile, since it's deactivated, there's just the plastic panel walls right there. There's no access to any kind of a release mechanism to the door at all. And so you can Anybody can sit in that seat. It's not treated like an emergency exit. So you can have kids sitting right there next to that seat. The area of the panel, uh, the area of the panel blown out features an emergency exit for high density configuration. However, it's not used as an emergency exit by Alaska Airlines. The exit door was covered by a panel inside the cabin to prevent the access to the release mechanism. Alaska Airlines reported that as a precautionary measure, they've grounded all 65 of their 737-9 MAX aircraft. So if you've got to go flying today on Alaska, it's going to be a mess. The aircraft carried 171 passengers and six crew when it experienced the incident. And this aircraft was uh, purchased, uh, uh, entered service on October 31st of 2023. So this appears to be some sort of a defect from the factory that allowed this to happen. Typically, these are plug type doors that plug up against the side of the fuselage as the aircraft pressurizes. They'll be looking at the flight data recorder. They'll be looking at the cabin pressurization as they slowly bring the cabin pressure up as the aircraft climbs through 16,000 feet and see what the cabin pressure differential was. But this came away cleanly. It's as, it's as if the door was mechanically somehow opened. I don't see any structural damage to the aircraft here. Here's the plug type bolt um, ears. You can see here, this is not a part of the door. This is just a seat back of the seat that was located right there. Here you can see the oxygen masks uh, dropped. And here is the normal emergency exit doors, and this one optional door is located right back here on the 737 MAX. 
and the view after the incident of the plug door missing with what appears to be no structural damage to the fuselage at all. There's the uh, bustle part of the slide there. I don't know if there was even a slide attached to this emergency exit since it was deactivated. Uh, there apparently was no damage to the aircraft tail of this uh, door leaving the aircraft and somewhere down there south of Oregon they've got to find this plug type door. Here's another view of the MAX and here you can see the outline of this deactivated door just aft of the left wing. Here's the flight track on FlightAware and if we back it up the aircraft is maintaining two, 250 knots below 10,000 feet, continues the climb above 10,000 feet, accelerates to nearly a ground speed of 440 miles per hour as they get up to 16,000 feet. The door pops on them. They declare the emergency. They slow down and come on back down and just enter a left base entry and come back in for the straight into Portland. Good, excellent job by the crew. And here's what it looked like from inside the aircraft from TikTok with the rubber jungle deployed, the oxygen mask deployed. It must have been a heck of a bang when this door cut loose on them. But everybody calmly handling the situation, getting a good view of the lights of Portland down, down below. There. Good reporting. She said there was nobody sitting next to that seat next to that window. So Boeing and its subcontractors have a lot of questions to answer about how this could have possibly happened on a brand new aircraft. As we get more information, we'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. I got to go to work. Thank you for your support. See you here.